There is a lot in this bill for small businesses. One of the biggest changes is the way that pass-through um, pass entities are taxed. Uh, pass-through entities now get a 20 percent deduction that will, and off of a 30 percent top tax rate, that will take the top rate on pass-through entities down to 29.6 percent. And then there, there are rules that now that if you, these, these deduction phases out for married couples at $315,000 for a married couple. Joining me now to explain this and the benefits of it is administrator of the Small Business Administration, Linda McMahon. Linda, that's what Steve Forbes has said this, and I've been talking about this. That's one of the issues, if we have to find fault with this, is that there is some complexity in this soon-to-be law that applies to these pass-through entities. How do you get around that? Well, good morning, Day, and thanks so much. And, you know, there is some complexity to it, but honestly, when our small businesses get through this, work through this, and I don't think it's going to be that burdensome for them because they've been, they've been accustomed to a little complexity in the past, and when they look at the fact that they're going to get a 20% uh, deduction uh, from their income, and they're already now in different tax brackets, uh, they're going to have about double for their standard deduction. Uh, these are real benefits for small businesses, and I've traveled the country over the last uh, several months. I've been to about 26 states. I've met with over 500 small businesses and talked to them and toured their facilities, and they really were looking so forward to this, this reduction because they've told me without fail they will reinvest any of these savings back into their businesses. So they're excited about it, and I think as we look at the, the enthusiasm that's already in the marketplace even before the tax bill was passed in anticipation of it, we're really going to see small businesses continue to grow. But to add to what I was talking about, so for people, married couples who make $315,000 or more, this deduction is limited and it's phased out entirely for people in some types of businesses, service businesses, including medical, legal, consulting. And then there was some criticism of an addition regarding real estate investors. Uh, Senator Bob Corker criticized on that. It's a test that allows businesses to qualify for this pass for the pass through based on their property. But I, I want to know, is this something that you could ultimately fix and broaden this tax break down the road? Is that something that is even up for discussion at this point? I've not heard discussion at this point. We've been focused so much working, you know, with, uh, with Congress and being uh, out in the marketplace and, and really hearing from our small businesses about what they would like to see. And I think that's really where the focus has been. But, of course, you know, we'll continue to be advocates for our almost 30 million small businesses around the country because they really are, they are the backbone of our economy and the engine of our economy. So we want to keep them strong. And they are very excited about getting uh, tax deduction. So uh, I'm, I'm in their corner all the way. I, being the daughter of uh, two individuals who own and ran a small business my entire life, I, they feel like they always felt like that politicians always promised one thing and then delivered another. But in fact, it seems to be the reverse now, at least on some polls, Administrator, where you guys have stepped up and actually delivered something on cutting pass-through rates, but many Americans don't favor this tax plan. That you, In the Wall Street Journal poll, only 17 percent of people who were polled think that they're going to get a tax cut when in fact it's 80 percent or more broadly speaking what you because you've been out there messaging and talking to these business owners why isn't it connecting more broadly with American taxpayers and Americans in general well I think the proof is going to be in the pudding Dagan. and we're we're going to see these benefits um, uh, our taxpayers and our small businesses are going to see more money in their pockets, less money coming out of their paychecks. And once this is happening, once the benefits are there, once our economy is continuing to grow, I think the proof's going to be in the pudding. And I didn't hear any of the small businesses that I talked to pushing back saying, boy, we're not in favor of tax cuts. We're not in favor of, uh, you know, paying less uh, to the government. We'd like to keep that money and invest in our business. I didn't hear that at all. 
Administrator, however, the individual cuts expire in 2025, and so do the changes for pass-through entities. That has to be something that the members of your party, the Republicans, are talking about trying to extend at this point, because that's going to be a lot of the criticism has been unfair or outright lies from Democrats, but that will be something that they try to hit home, and they have been. They keep saying that, oh, half of Americans are going to have their taxes going up. Well, that's cause, because the, these cuts expire. So can you fix that in the next few years? Well, I think we have seen individual tax cuts extended before. Uh, you know, when they expired. And if these, all of this is working and working well, well, I don't think anyone is going to vote to let them expire. And let's look at it. Yes, they, they do have an expiration date, but we're talking almost 10 years. Let's take the benefit of that today and let's work through. Let's continue to grow our economy. Let's get more towards that 4% that the president is talking about, because I think that's really what's on the minds of our uh, small businesses today, they're ready to go. They're ready to start more businesses. They're ready to invest that income. And they're not really talking about, well, geez, I don't know, 10 years from now, I don't know how what that's going to affect. They want today. And they're ready for it. And they've been promised. The anticipation uh, level is high. And so now it's here. It and now we're going to see them, um, I think we're going to see them really em employ more people and raise wages and start more businesses. How fast do you think the economy can grow with this? You want to throw I out mean, a number? <laughs> I'll, leave, I'll leave that up to the president to project that in Congress, but <laughs> I think it's going. I think we're going to see it, and the uh, I think we've got the wind at our back, and the momentum is clearly there. Confidence among independent businesses, National Federation of Independent Business, at an all-time high, a record high in November. Administrator, thank you, Linda McMahon. Thank you, Administrator of the Small Business Administration.